This 3D scan shows the pressure high heels exert on the feet. It shows how body weight is piled forward onto the sesamoids, the two P-shaped bones under the big toe. The images were produced by a 3D scanner made by US company Curvebeam. The machine is now being used at the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital in North London. You can see the entire body. And orthopaedic surgeon Andy Goldberg says it's transforming the way high heel related problems are being toe. diagnosed. Um, and the big toe is um, lifted upwards in a, in a strange position and all the lesser toes you can see here are clawed. Uh, and in that sort of claw toe position, uh, they stay um, for the duration that the person's in the high heels. The technology allows doctors to examine feet and ankles down to the bones as their patients stand inside the scanner wearing their shoes. And the patients can see in real time the impact of their choices, choices that women all over the world make on a daily basis. In Western culture, high heels are ubiquitous. No fashion show is complete without them, despite the occasional stumble. And even the Duchess of Cambridge courted controversy by playing hockey in them. But former dancer Karen Brown blames high heels for the foot and ankle pain she has endured for years. It's just the worst pain ever. Like when I'd come home and take the shoes off, I'd have to take paracetamol, ibuprofen, cocadamol, and just like keep my feet up because of the swelling. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what high heels does. But the 3D scanner gives Andy Goldberg hope for the future. He believes the technology could lead to the development of reasonably priced, customised footwear. But for many years we've been designing shoe wear uh, so that our feet have to fit into someone else's idea of shoes. And the new paradigm that I'd love to see in the future is if we can develop shoes that fit people's feet comfortably and that will improve people's uh, health immeasurably. Goldberg acknowledges that such a development may be years away, but he says for health reasons it would be a step in the right direction.